My name is Masa Simon Mkara. I am from Form 3. Uh, I am studying at here Kidugaru Seminary at Njombe, region of Njombe. Yeah, you can tell us how did you get education of gender based violence and health? To us, because it improves to our uh, performance in the class. The education which we get to that day through HAST help us to, to the performance of, of our class, especially to girls, to improve from low to highest. Okay, you was provided uh, parts. We are very helpful. Yes, the parts were very helpful because first the impact of the parts itself to minimize the use of money. That's the, those parts which we were, we were distributed by HAST help us to minimize money because sometimes we use a lot of money to buy other parts, but nowadays don't use money because we have good parts for using. They are reusable. Are you yes. enjoying to reuse them? Yes, I am very enjoying. Uh, told about, uh, you are taught about gender-based violence. Are you applying here at school, uh, even out of school? Yes, gender-based violence at school it is applied because there is equality first between boys and girls. Before gender-based violence education to be provided, there was no equality. Boys were isolating and, my, my, and treating harsh girls like if they're not a human being. But nowadays, there is equal treatment to, bo to both girls and boys, even to teachers. Nowadays, teachers respect girls and even boys. Okay, can you give us remarks or uh, special thanks to the government or uh, the diocese for aiding you to get these services? Uh, the remarks is about to say thank you to this, to the Hust Fest by providing for us a pad which are re reusable and also thanks to to the health global health ministry for 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 allow this non non government organization like HAST to be continued. Also, thanks to our to the EOST Evangelical Lutheran Church of Tanzania, especially to the to our bishop George George Fiavango. Really, thanks thanks thank you for all what. You for what you're doing for us, for allowing us to come here to give us a good education which we were not getting before. Also, thank you to the government by supporting this government, this non-government like us to lead to many schools to provide education, especially to our president Samia Slu Hassan. We really thank you. Oh, regardless for all that they have gave you, what do you think? It's important for you here at school. Uh, they can help you. Uh, the thing which can help us is changing room. In in our school, there is no changing room for girls. When a person he, he she doesn't have a place for changing changing his or uh, a pad. See, uh, maybe a person feels shy to change a pad to to up to to the to in front of our friend that the toilet. I advise. If it is possible to the to the government or has to support us to build for us a changing room for our school. My name is Margaret Ilumba. I am a form six student at Kidugara Rusen Seminary in Jombe region at Wangombe district. Uh, the impact of uh, menstrual health education when we get in a previous period. It helped us in, uh, in uh, attending at the class station because in previous day, when, before, before getting education of menstrual health education, we get some challenges at girls because we are not attending at the class station during the menstrual day because we have not paid for, for treat us during the menstruation period and the, the impact of this education it helps us 
it's a first in reducing the buying of uh, parts at the shop because this part we we have get from Hasty we help us in it. we help us in those day for menstrual menstrual period but also uh, we say thank you to our Hasty for this aids of cards and also we say thank you for our bishop of thousand uh, cc dr george fiavango also for our government through mama samia through hassan we thanks we say thank you for all because the aids of uh, mental health education it's uh, reduced the reduce the consumption of of money and uh, help us for attending the class session but also the government should be providing and support the hasty and the all non government organization because it is very helpful for student for student and improve the performance of uh, the performance of school because through the menstrual health education it's a help and encourage girls for to be confidential and also to perform well and uh, attending in the class session because it's help help them to 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 treat or to yes to treat during the menstrual the menstrual day and the menstrual. Yes, so when I get this education for gender-based violence, it's helped me because before before this education of gender-based violence, it was uh, many violence from boys to girls. But through this education, because we are provided boys to girls, so it's helped us to reduce violence from boys, so it's uh, maintain equality to us. My name is Lisa William Kuyenga. I'm from Form One. I'm a Form One student, and uh, I'm come from Jombe. I'm here at uh, Kidugara Lutheran School Seminar. Okay, the impacts of uh, menstrual, menstrual education it helped us much and much because before the this organization of uh, HAST came here, the students were absent, absent in, this, in the class and not attending the class sessions because uh, they are f afraid that they don't have pads which are cost, which are costful that they can't, they can't have that money to buy them. And also, it helped the, the the expense to be to not be so high because the parents sometimes say they can they cannot have some money to send to you for buying those pads which they are from industries but by using this reusing pads from hast it helped us much and much and also about uh, days for girls sanitary pads we say they are good they, they are so they are so good and uh, we use it in comfortably because because uh, some other uh, pads from the industries are not good they may bring cancer but uh, these re the reusable pads from days for girls they help they have helped they have so much and much Mm -hmm. My name is Elizabeth Yasao Mwendele. I'm studying Form 6 HGK. I'm here at Kudugal Lutheran Seminary. Um, the, the impact of menstruation health education has lightened up the, the performance of girls. In previous was low because the, most of girls were not attending to the, to the period in the class. And also, on the issue of the pets which were given by Santa, 
has reduced cost to our to we girls also we have kept the, our environment clean okay my name is Luca Michael Ngongoni head of the school at Kirigara Lutheran Seminary okay so we received the hast from Jombe uh, which is sponsored by uh, Global Health Ministries from United States of America and they came here at, at Kidugala Lutheran Seminary they taught our students and the whole societies of Kidugala Lutheran Seminary about the importance of uh, importance and the use of pedi. Uh, in fact they did almost three things one uh, teaching, like providing education to uh, the communities who are living here at Kirigala, and the other one, distributing those pets to the to, to female students and the workers. And third, uh, they taught about uh, gender-based violence in the societies, basically to these young, uh, growing kids like uh, ladies. Uh, in fact. The education was very good, and we would like I would like now to give out the feedback of the pad which have been distributed by the husk. In fact, the party which has been distributed by the husk we are very good, very excellent, and useful to our students. As I'm going to give some tips to you. Uh, as what I have observed in day to days <coughs> in my school. One, I have observed that um, during the use of that uh, of parts of parts to this key or to this uh, to our students, I observed that students are now uh, attending the class almost the whole month. Students are in the class, are comfortable in learning, are comfortable in studying. And their confidence has raised to the maximum level they can perform well compared to those times before uh, using this kind of parts and actually this part was very good because it was cheap and accessed by almost every student. they can just access those parts and also they can exchange they can use today and they can wash it they can uh, reuse once again so in our school, we realized that this part was very friendly, and very good, and very useful. And actually, it was fr environmental friendly because before this kind of party, I observed in, the, in some of the dustbins in the dormitories, specifically to the largest dormitories, the pads were, the use, used the pads were full in the dustbins. But soon after introducing this kind of um, this kind of this this part from husk, uh, they reduced the. We didn't observe. I didn't observe any 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 parts there. If they are there, we are just very few literal in 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 the last bits. But the other ones, I observed in the incinerators. Before, I experienced some requests of asking maybe kerosene for for <laughs> destroying those parts and the other materials at the incinerators but currently we don't i don't experience such kind of a request from matron and the other uh, teachers or workers from who are responsible on that so i think these kind of parts are quite good and uh, environmental friendly in a hundred percent in my side and i think it's generally <coughs> everybody can comment that way the other one i think what I have seen there is like students, uh, girls have, the, as I told you, that the confidence has raised in such a way that now they can stay in the class comfortably. They cannot be, uh, they don't fear, they don't fear anything. Because once their time comes of the, that uh, menstruation, once comes, they know that they are safe and they can access their party. They can use them freely and they can proceed with their studies quite different if you compare to the last time or to the, to the previously when some of the students missed the, some sessions why because they didn't have uh, um, uh, ability of accessing 
parts to the shops so they were supposed to be at the at the dormitories waiting maybe the time to be the administration to stop and then they resume their classrooms so i can just uh, conclude by saying that way you told us also has they provided education or in gender based violence can you give us the feedback now yeah i can say that what i i observed there is likely love among students is now bigger if we compare to previously so love between the students between boys and girls inside there if you observe in the classes if you observe in their daily daily uh, daily activities you can see that the love increased compared to times before because those times boys could uh, talk something maybe which uh, was not good to the girls and actually that harmed students like those girls and they didn't feel happy but currently they are free because they cannot boys cannot observe anything and of course during that during that uh, teachings uh, has explained very clearly that of course this is just a normal situation to the ladies that's why even boys they realize that okay this school it is just a creation it's just a circle it's just a, a stages of these sisters of ours so I have seen that kind of increase, uh, that's changes, changes between students, boys and girls, and something like that. If somebody asks me what can I uh, say maybe for the, for the maybe next year or the coming times, I could say because we are having many newcomers in our school, for instance, those who are, uh, maybe they are shifting from other schools, they are coming in my school, newcomers like form ones next year, from five next year we are going to have a number of new who are not having this kind of pets so far we need more 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 pets of your kind so i could say that maybe has they they have a huge job to, to do because i'll be asking more more pets to those students who are, who are coming as news like newcomers and those who are coming for maybe shifting from other schools they are coming to my school so i think they are I could just conclude by saying that we need more parts from Husks of that kind. I think Husks through the sponsorship of this uh, uh, global health ministries, I think they can play a great role in my, in my school because what is missing in my school, despite of having toilets, the good toilets, but we are missing some like uh, rooms, special rooms when students are in the classes rooms which students they can use to exchange their parts during menstruation and sometimes even bathrooms in their in their in their in their, in their dormitories are not enough if we compare to the number of students especially to girls so i think these two they are very important to me i have a lot <laughs> to comment positively but what i can say just right now he is like uh, in fact, the education that has been provided by the HASCs under the sponsorship of uh, Global Health Ministries, they are supposed to be a continuous education. We have a number of students who are entering, so it means we need some, the same, same knowledge, the same, same education. So education are needed and are very, very good. And what I can comment there is like, because uh, those students are coming from their families and we used to have some meetings parent meetings in our in our school in our seminary i could maybe even ask if possible and i think you have to the husky have to have to think that the possibilities of coming and joining with the parents meeting so that they can provide the education to the parents directly because i know that the parents are the, the ones who are responsible to buy those parts to for their kids so if once they just receive directly the direct education from their parents, I'm sure that they, it will help them and they will just respond directly from the education and they will buy for their students, their, their kids. It will be very benefits too. So I think we are, we are having almost two, uh, two meetings per year. I think it's better ask to, to attend one of the two if it's possible. And I think they have to arrange that so that they can... They can provide education to the parents as well as to the students as well. Uh, and in fact, uh, I would like you to to give the very 
exhort my my attitudes and the thanks to our honorable president mama samia slow hassan uh, who through her hands maybe ministries uh, who are responsible and the others to allow the ngos like this husk and uh, uh, global health ministries to work to provide education to provide services like these parts and uh, so many things which are done by the husk i think by doing so uh, in fact the husk is saving a number of uh, number of societies who are who could be maybe who could fail to 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 escape from those uh, challenges that are facing the societies at whole or at large so to me i could like i could i could say that in fact our president we would like to thank him to thank her very much and seriously that he has allowed and has released these uh, ngos to work freely 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 